This morning, we focus on the upcoming listing of construction firm Azam Jaya Berhad, whose work includes the Pan Borneo Highway. TA Securities does not have a recommendation on the company but has put forward a one ringgit 54 cent target price, implying a possible capital appreciation of a little over 97% from its listing price. Some background on the Sabah-based firm, Azam Jaya specialises in the construction of road infrastructure, which includes highways, bridges and tunnels to name a few. Azam Jaya also holds a 5.9% share in the civil engineering market in Sabah, which TA Securities views as a competitive advantage. Azam Jaya is currently managing nine active projects with an outstanding order book totaling 1.5 billion ringgit. TA points out that Azam Jaya is well positioned to benefit from the federal government's increased 2025 development spending in East Malaysia with 6.7 billion ringgit for Sabah and 5.9 billion ringgit for Sarawak. The company is estimated to raise 61.5 million ringgit from its listing exercise on the main market. From the proceeds, 28.4 million ringgit or around 46.2% will be allocated towards working capital while 20 million ringgit or 32.5% will be put towards repayment of bank borrowings. Moving forward, Azam Jaya plans to retain its position as a key player in the construction sector in Sabah by focusing on core strengths and operational efficiency. It will do so by investing 30 million ringgit in equipment and 2.5 million ringgit in technological upgrades by 2025. Still, TA Securities notes that key risks include Azam Jaya's high dependency on government clientele groups such as the Ministry of Works Malaysia and JKR Sabah, and unexpected fluctuations in input costs which already attributed to a 23.8% decline in net profit to name a few. Azam Jaya is due to be listed on the 11th of November, so there is no data yet on Bloomberg. So far, the only other report out is from Public Invest Research which gives a 1 ringgit target price. Overall, the average target price works out to 1 ringgit 27 cent, which is around 62% more than its IPO price. <laughs>